You want to learn how to fast forward your video? Well, I'm actually going to show you two different ways to do it today, depending on the type of application you're using it for, what type of video and what type of effect you're trying to see. One may be better than the other. So yeah, I'm going to show you both. They're going to be super quick, super simple. Let's jump into it. Now I'm out of the way so you don't miss anything. And if the video does help you out, hit that like button for me. So right here, we have a video of a concept police car. And it's just generic B-roll you can use, you know, whatever you want for whatever type of thing you're doing. So we're looking at this right here. And let's say uh, maybe this clip's dragging on a little bit too long. So we want this to speed up until the next section or whatever the application is that you're doing. So let's say it's right here. I'm holding control and B to make a cut in the video right where we want the fast forward to begin. I'm just going to go ahead and play it forward right here until the end. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so we can get a better look. This is dragging on quite a long time. So we're definitely going to want to speed that up. And I'm going to want it to speed up until it makes that cut personally for this application. I believe that's going to be a good look. We're going to go ahead and control B where we want it to end. Now that we have that, right click on that clip and go to Retime Controls. Now, once we have that done, this drop down right here where it says 100%, that's playing at 100%, so AKA normal speed. Click that little drop down, go to change speed, and you can play at 200% faster, 400% faster, 800% faster. It's up to you on how much you really want to speed it up. We'll just go with 400 right here. It automatically shrinks it down, but the cut is in the same spot in the video. So we'll go ahead and bring this right down to where it is and we'll play it forward. And there it is at 400% speed to get to the next part even faster. Let's say you want to use it as more of a transition. We're going to change the speed to 800% so it's even shorter. Zip. And there you go. If you did not see as well on that drop down change speed, you can actually make it slower at the same time. So I'm going to hold control and hit Z just to go back to where it was originally. Bam. And now I'm going to show you the second way that you can speed up a clip. Kind of the same thing. Let's say right here, we're saying this is dragging on a bit too long. And we want to go ahead and speed up for the remainder of this particular segment before the next section when it makes a cut. So right here, control B, we're making a cut. Now for the remainder right now, just right click on everything that's left over, go to change clip speed. And right here, you can either type in an amount. Let's say you want 200% faster, put that in there, or you can click the dragger and just drag it over left or right. And you can go either faster or slower. And then you can see if you even go past that, it actually plays the clip in reverse speed. But let's just say we want to go, we'll put it up to around 800. Let's say you just want to drag it over like that. Change, boom. And you see, here's actually now the end of the clip. Actually, what it did is it made the entire rest of the clip that speed. But you see, if you don't leave the rest of the clip there, it'll actually just shrink down and leave the clip the same length. And then you won't have the cut where you want it to at that point. So right here, we're going to go ahead and play it forward until right there is where we want to make the cut to the uh, next little clip there. Once you do that, though, click on this exact uh, clip at the end, right click on it, go to clip speed. And now just go ahead and type in 100% right here. Now the rest of the clip plays at the normal speed. And obviously you're going to want the rest of the clip. So let's drag that out to the end. So now that we have that in, you're playing it forward. Zip there, it fast forward. And now it's back to normal speed again. So there's two different ways that you can fast forward in DaVinci Resolve. Don't forget to hit the like button if this video helped you out.